morning. Uh, a <laughs> follow-up to a News Nation exclusive, a whistleblower who says he was part of an alien task force, claims that the U.S. is retrieving vehicles that are not from this world and might be in possession of alien bodies. It, it, this is the weirdest story of the year and maybe of the Crazy. millennia. I don't understand how we can, as news people, be so proper when we're reading these scripts. It's like, what? Were we, though? What? I don't think so. Okay, in that wide about world, uh, exclusive special right here on News Nation on Sunday night, David Grush laid out why he believes we are not alone in the universe and the information he learned while serving on the Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force. That's a real thing. Senior national correspondent <laughs> Brian Enton hosted that special. He spoke with a journalist who interviewed Grush for us. Am I saying his name right? Grush. Yeah, Grush, yeah. Yeah, th this is, when I read this for the first time, I thought, what? I know. Yeah. It's crazy. Came out of our seats. Yeah. First of all, I'm excited to be here with the team. Yeah, the so tables. good to have you, Such Ryan. Such a power duo here. Aww. It's awesome. We love Aww. having you here. But yeah, I mean, I'm not like a UFO guy. Like, I haven't done these stories for years. I mean, it was eye-opening. It's been a crazy couple of weeks working on this. <laughs> um, David Grush, what's so interesting is is he his credentials are real. I mean, this guy stacks up high-level intelligence officer, been doing this for years, been keeping secrets for years on the wow. official... Uh, task force, the uh, Aero Task Force, which is the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. So he has the credentials. All of that stacks up. Some of what he says, though, I mean, it's hard to process that the U.S. has this crash retrieval program um, and that they for aliens, for aliens, in secrets in yeah. secret for like almost a decade that they've almost a century they've been doing this. Um, going out and collecting these crafts that crash and then secretly housing them, and that we're not the only country that does it. China, Russia, other countries are doing the same thing, and it's sort of like this secret Cold War uh, where all of these countries are competing with each other to replicate the technology. I want you to listen to a little bit of what Grush said uh, on the special last night. When you say crash retrieval, what do you mean? Uh, these are retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles, you know, call it spacecraft if you will. Uh, it's probably not the right parlance, but uh, no kidding, non-human, exotic origin vehicles that have either landed or crashed. We have spacecraft from another species. We do, yeah. How many? Quite a number. What? Hmm. From another yeah. species? From another species. He has filed an official whistleblower complaint. Uh, with the intelligence community, with Congress, under oath, so he could go to jail if he is lying, which, again, I think does lend to a lot of He doesn't look like he's lying. It just, it, he's so believable in the sense of he looks calm, he looks like he's of sound mind. Yeah. But what he's saying sounds absolutely bonkers. Yeah, in the special last night, we interviewed a couple of skeptics. Um, yeah, what did they say? There's skeptics out there, you know. So you can really go down a rabbit hole with this. They say that they don't think he knows he's lying, that he could actually be part of a government plant to sort of change the conversation that they're putting this out there because there's something else that they don't want us uh, to pay attention to. But what's interesting, you think back like 20 years ago, it would have been crazy to talk about UFOs. Right. Um, but but the, the government does have a program. I mean, they've acknowledged that. You've seen the videos that they've released, the Navy's released, that Tic Tac video. There it is right there. I mean, there's things you can't but, explain. And isn't the Pentagon <laughs> denying this? So the Pentagon is saying they don't have evidence to support his claims. If you believe him, he says they wouldn't know anyway because it's such a secret It's so program. top secret. Correct. How is he able to talk? That's what I want to know. Well, he's being very careful because there's a lot of classified information he says he's not allowed to talk about. And he provided to us, he actually wrote the Defense Department a letter before he did the interview and got clarity about what he could and couldn't talk about. And he gave us that letter where they said, you can talk about these certain things. We're not saying, what? yes, we're not saying what you're saying is true, but we're gonna allow you to talk about this list of things. This is messy. You just got a show lot of photos. I don't understand. Moving parts and pieces. Yeah, I mean, this, this has been way. my life for a couple and weeks. Just imagine yeah. like, the sleepless nights I've had. You, this is a big get for beam us. Beam me up. You got the scoop again. None of us are surprised. Thanks, Mike. I'm going to miss you on the streets, by the I way. Know. You're all, like, fancy. I know. And I'm used to seeing around oh, rainstorms and stuff. Oh, you know? She I know. cleans up real good. She does. I love the Brian Enton. Yeah, love it's good too. to love see you, you here. Thank you, Brian, for being. And, and you're going to be here the next couple of hours with us, right? I will. Yeah, yeah. so we'll go in deeper. We've, I've we'll got hang more. out. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.